Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we will see how to set up Markdown and how to work with the Markdown in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to cover so many points. So this tutorial is going to be very lengthy. So I have divided this tutorial session in three parts. So first we will understand how many points we are going to cover in tutorial part one, then tutorial part two, and after that tutorial part three. So if we talk about this tutorial part one, we are going to understand few basic thing. First, we will see the markdown introduction. Also, we will understand few important points like what is markdown and how does it work in Visual Studio Code and how to set up in Visual Studio Code. Also, we will see who is using the markdown in real world and what are the important points that we need to remember for working with Markdown in Visual Studio Code. Also, we will do one practical session. We will do some Markdown text and we will create a one Markdown file. After that, we will convert it into HTML file in the Visual Studio Code editor. And now in the second tutorial or a tutorial part two, we will focus on the compilation of the Markdown file into VS Code file. And uh, this process have some steps. So we will discuss these steps in the tutorial part two. Now we move on uh, the tutorial part three. In the tutorial part three, we are one step ahead. So instead of compiling one file at a time, we are thinking to compile all the files which we are changing and that process going to be automated. So we will focus how to automate the markdown compilation in VS Code. This process have these four steps which are very easy i will explain you when we come to tutorial part three so guys without wasting time going to start with the tutorial part one okay guys now we are here on the tutorial part one and we have noted down all the summary all the text or the discussion topics that we are going to do here so first we will understand what is markdown markdown is a lightweight markup language that can be used to add the formatting elements to plain text document. So I'm explaining uh, this introduction for those who just landed and they don't know the use of the markdown. So they want to get something uh, useful uh, knowledge from this video. That's why I'm first explaining what is markdown. So guys, you have seen the HTML. In the HTML, we simply write the tags and we can do or prepare some web pages. In the same way, we have another simplified form. We don't need to remember the tags. We don't need to remember the attributes and so many things. We just simply need to remember few symbols. With the help of few symbols, just open a plain text file and simply write your markdown text and whatever content you want to prepare with the formatting, you can use and then save this file with the .md extension. Now your markdown file is ready. Now we need to understand how we can preview this markdown file in the web browser or how we can use this file as a HTML file or how we can convert this markdown file as a HTML file. So we have one application you can use. We have the inter intermediate markdown processor or a parser or an implementation application, which is responsible in conversion from .md file to .html file. So the process is very straightforward. We simply give .md file to markdown processor and this markdown processor will take this md file as an input and this will translate this md file into HTML file for you. When you get your .html ready file, you can use anywhere you can add this style sheet and you can use it in your website, web browser or somewhere. Now let me show you one image to explain this process. Now in front of you, this image is self-explanatory. I hope you are understanding this thing. So this process is very simple. We have few MD files you have written in .txt file and you have just saved these files with .md extension. Okay, so we call it markdown files. After that, we need to convert these MD files into HTML files. So markdown application or markdown parser comes 
to place to do your this conversion task and markdown application taking these .md file as input and translating and transforming your .md file into html files when you get your html files you can simply add the css and you can do some more whatever you want with the html files you can simply render this html files in your browser or you can upload on your website or somewhere wherever you want you can use it i hope you are able to understand the whole process and now we have the capability in the vs code to work with the markdown files and it this uh, vs code and this vs code supports markdown files out of the box this provides you the inbuilt feature to preview md files into html what do you have to do you have to simply open the editor and you have to create one file and write the markdown text and save it with md extension and you have the feature in the VS code to watch the preview of MD file into HTML file or you can jump between visualization to code as well. So we call it preview. So I will show you in the Visual Studio code in uh, coming two, three minutes. First, we will see who is using the markdown. So guys, markdown use is everywhere. Lots of websites like Reddit, GitHub supports Markdown. I hope you guys have seen the GitHub. So you will get the lots of documentation, help files. Those are using the .md to create these types of content. And lots of desktop and web application support this Markdown. Let me show you one image. So I have just created one Markdown text file and that I have converted into uh, HTML uh, in the Visual Studio code. So I have captured that. So first I will show you so you will able to understand and correlate what I have just said. So let me open this image. Okay, this is the image. Let me expand it for uh, better visibility. I hope this is clear. And now you can see we have the .md file here in the editor on the left hand side you can see uh, this is the syntax of the markdown we have a simple syntax simple use of a few symbols like hash hyphen and dot forward slash backslash pipe so we can use or we can use the combination of these uh, so we can write our formatted text you can see on the left hand side first I'm using the hash for the heading. If I'm using single hash, so that is converted as the largest heading. If I'm using the two hash, so the heading will be a little larger as compared to the single one. So this is uh, this has a complete set of syntax. So you can uh, learn this syntax from the Markdown official website. You can check some documentation for that. Now I'm going to focus on how to work with the Markdown in Visual Studio Code and I'm helping you to set up the environment and working, going to understand about the switching between the code and the preview shortcut keys there. We can enable the dynamic preview of the Markdown file. You can keep writing on the left hand side with your Markdown file and the same time you can preview whatever you are writing and that will be converted into HTML file so you can check the preview on the fly as well also we have the option suppose you have written very lengthy markdown file suppose 5000 lines 6000 lines or 500 600 lines depends on you now you want to jump to the HTML side so simply select that component you can just please double click on that component and you will see on the right hand side in the preview that component will be uh, high, gray highlighted with the uh, gray bar and that will be blink on the right hand side in the vice versa you can uh, click any component on the HTML file HTML preview and that will be highlighted here on the left hand side also we have one outline view as well for uh, the uh, pre for uh, the understanding what you have used you can get an outline view in the separate section on the left bottom of the file explorer when you expand it it will show you the symbol tree that currently 
you have used i will show you in the vs code and detail so guys this is the theory now we are going to do a practical dot uh, md or a dot markdown file writing then we will see how to check the preview of that so that's all for now in this uh, tutorial session and uh, please watch the second tutorial for the further uh, practical session i hope to see you there uh, thanks for watching this tutorial if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help